What? Welcome back. Oh, this part's gay. I hate it. What were you gonna say now? I I was gonna say um. Oh yeah, this part's done. Uh, I was gonna say I'm trying to think of um because you asked me earlier. What was a game like the last game I was hyped for? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm trying to think of. Let's see. I don't even think I can really think of one that I was hyped for. The last game I think. Well, actually, I do know one game that I am hyped for. And that is uh, Age of Empires 2. Um, yeah, that came from like 94. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm super hyped for it because they got yeah. all new expansion, everything like that. Oh, come on, really? But yeah, it's like, that's that's a game that I've owned and I know is good. Right. And like, I've played the beta and all that. Super hyped for it. Um, I'm kind of hyped for this uh, From Ashes game thingy. Oh, yeah. That I haven't played yet, but like... There we go. I did it. That's how you stealth. You gotta wave. It's... I've seen that game. It looks interesting. Like, I thought the... I, I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of fun when I play it with somebody. Yeah, I think I, uh... I saw the... Like, a trailer for it or something like that. It looked kind of cool, but... I, I was gonna wait for it to go on, on sale or something before I check it out. It sounds like they still have some stuff they gotta hammer out with it, too. Like, glitches and stuff. Yeah. I, I feel like it's going to be good enough for me to want to play it and have fun with it. Because it looks like fun to me. I, I've always liked shooting better than fucking... Well, shooting in those kind of games where it's harder because I can you know move more easily. Yeah. The, the game is more like Bloodborne than it is a Dark Souls. Yeah. Dark Souls, I see it more as like a you know a back and forth. Well, sh oh, when you shoot, baby. it takes it more into like the Bloodborne area where like you can. Uh, Doesn't uh, yeah, it's all dodging basically. Oh, shit. Uh, that game's like it's forty bucks too, right? It's not yes, full price. Yeah, it's forty bucks. So that's kind of nice. Oh, I could have made that easy. Yeah, you could have. Oh well. He's probably like, huh, Quark's acting weird. He's always weird. I like how it doesn't even look like I have an idle animation. Like, he's totally stationary. Yeah. You don't breathe, you don't move, you don't yeah, do you don't anything. do anything. Oh. How far do I have, do I have to get? Jesus Christ, you're gonna make me do all this again? Mm -hmm. This game sucks. Bullshit. This is bull fucking This is shit. bull fuck. I fucking bullshit. No. Fucking. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, the only game I'm really, like, at all excited about is uh, Death Stranding, I think. That's about it. Because I'm interested, they did show off... I think they just released some new trailers. Um, I haven't seen them, though, because, like, you know me. Yeah. I watched, like, the earlier trailers, and that enough has kind of got me, like, all right, yeah, I'm excited to kind of see what, what they do with it, you know? Um, I'm hoping that, like, it kind of excludes a lot of the garbage that was in Phantom Pain, because, like, the thing that really killed me with Phantom Pain was just how much, like, excess, like, side shit there was. Yeah, there... It was more of like um, a fetch quest kind of game in yeah, general. Yeah, like than... like if they had like focused the gameplay more, like I think it would have been better. Like I had more fun, that are like the most fun I should say in Phantom Pain, um, when like you went in without like a good loadout and like you were actually like you know struggling, struggling, and like you know the the half of what made the older games fun was um, how do I get down here? Um, a constant struggle. Well, yeah, well, because, like, they used to, like, always, like, say, like, oh, it's on-site procurement of weapons and stuff. 
And it's like if you play it that way in Phantom Pain, like it's actually a lot more fun. Yeah. Like if you go in with like just a shitty like you know, um, like dark gun and like a loud weapon that has no silencer on it and stuff, because then you have to like kind of pick your opportunities to do certain things and shit. And it's yeah, it I is remember more, you telling me like once you got once you got like the. Uh, like tranquilizers, uh, sniper, like it was pretty much done. Yeah, like because you like, can, because then you can sneak every single area with like perfect stealth, and like you can like recruit all of the soldiers that way. Like it, yeah, they pretty much like once you get that, like that's the the dominant strategy. Is like you're just gonna use that all the time. Like, and, and that's pretty much what I did when I got it. And like, it's cool to like be able to strive for stuff like that in games, but when you get it, it's like man. It just changes exactly how you play the game. Yeah. And I mean, like, you know, that's where, like, everybody's like, you know, oh, but you can experiment with all these different ways and shit. It's like, yeah, yeah but that's, but like, like the, not the most efficient way to do things. Yeah. Like, also, you gotta think of it like a lore standpoint. Why would Big Boss be, you know, deploying all these different tactics and things? Yeah. Like, he would, he, he doesn't seem like he's, uh, he's a very, like, super tactical kind of guy. Like, he's... He's efficient. He's not going to take a, a cardboard box with quiet on it, you know, in a skimpy outfit and, like, dive down a hill. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's just weird and I don't know. I mean, like... Uncharacteristic. I'm not... Yeah, I'm not saying, like, it's not, like, it doesn't fit with, like, the, the world, but I, I get what you're saying, too. Because, like, I don't know. It, it's just... I just... My, my big problem with Phantom Pain was just that stuff, though. Like, I always hated how, like, you're in the middle of a mission and then, like, you know how you can get, like, the... The shipping containers, like you can, yeah, like fort, uh, fult, fulton those out. Like you had to fucking do that, shit yeah. Too. Like, like, but like that was the thing that I hated is like you would always be tempted. Like you would see when you're like, shit, I gotta get that, you know. Or like every time you like subdued a guy, like you had to like fulton him out. And it's like, why can't I just like worry about hiding his body or something? Like, why do I have to like worry about parachuting him out of there because that way I get another dude on my staff? Like it's fucking dumb. Yeah. And it's like the base management stuff sounds cool on paper, but it's just annoying to have to like deal with. And not to mention too, like okay, like you get a base, but like there's no real point in the main game to ever even have it. <laughs> like you go there and there's nothing to do. Like there's nothing to do there. It's not like you get attacked or something at any point. Like it's just yeah, it's just a hub. It's just a hub. That's it. And it's a hub that you don't ever have to go to really. It's fucking dumb. And then and then the other obvious thing was just like. If you wanted to buy a new weapon, like, you had to wait, like, 20 minutes to get it. It's like, why? Yeah, real time to actually do stuff. Yeah, it's like, why is that in the game? I wonder if they ever denuclearized the whole game to get the whatever secret thing. I think they I think they might have. I'm pretty sure they did that pretty early on, I think. <laughs> I want to see. Did MGF... It's It's not, like, anything special, if I recall. It's pretty shit. Yeah, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that Death Stranding doesn't do that, but who knows? By the time anybody watches this video, we'll know. Metal Gear Solid Five celebrates nuclear disarmament, but it's a bug. <laughs> it's a bug. Yeah. Huh. Uh, apparently, mm. it, uh, it ended prematurely, or secret ending triggered prematurely. Oh yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's a secret ending that is plays... Is he looking away from me or is he looking at me? ...dispensable to nuclear weapons. It requires players to oh, all nukes in the game and nearly impossible tasks thanks to hackers and hoarders. Last week, the end suddenly triggered even though countless nuclear weapons still exist within the game. And now the game's publisher is acknowledging the error. There you go. The nuclear disarmament option was first discovered when players searching through the game's files uncovered a hidden cut scene that no one could trigger... And that scene, Big Boss and his mercenary cohorts declare that all nukes around the world have been destroyed. Players can build nukes in Metal Gear Solid 5 and add them to their bases, oh. stockpile, while the other players can attempt. I think they're home now. To oh steal those God. nukes from their own uses, Fan Daryl Ice at disposing of every player's nukes will trigger the cutscene, and a small but dedicated group of players work towards that goal. Na -na 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 -na. This is a really impractical way to get through this area. 
Like, oh, yeah, you gotta go through this laser thing. It's, you know, it's to make sure that people aren't, you know, not supposed to be here. I guess. Yeah, Fan of Pain sucked. Not a good game. Son of a bitch! <laughs> this episode sucks. I have to, I have to see what that secret one is. No, I've yeah, never they, actually seen the ending of the game because I didn't fucking. It's finish. not worth it. Did I, it? Yeah, I got the goddamn bumblebee and I stopped. At the end of the game, they make you play through the first mission again. Why? Because the game was unfinished. Nostalgia. I mean, the opening mission I thought was cool. Like it is a little like it kind of holds you by the hand a little bit too much, but like it's still like. A cool, like, set piece type of thing. Yeah. Also, what's with these fucking puzzles? Like, is this another one of those fucking, uh... Yeah. Monkey... Catching monkey fucking show? Yes. Yes, it is. Where all you have to do is fucking wait. You look very heroic today. Well, thank you. Man, you're literally just waiting for those things to go away. There's I not know. really any challenges. I know. You don't have to, like, stop or slow yourself. <laughs> this part sucks. Like, there's certain parts of these games that just suck. Like, I get it's kind of a nifty idea or something, but it's... We're gonna have to probably pause this episode, because we're gonna get some intrusion. Yeah, I'm gonna stop it right now. Yeah, we're pausing. We'll be back. We'll be back. Chicken parm sliders, my man. They were looking great. Oh, we're back. Welcome, Black. We watched a little tiny kid get tackled at a football game, and it was great. (laughs) I'm sure he cried. That has nothing to do with anything. Yeah, probably. Oh, I gotta use my buzz blade. I gotta get these leveled up, man. Yeah, what are you doing? I don't know how much more there is in this. I mean, we might be able to finish it right now. Maybe. I right here. I don't think it's... Right now. Right here. Right now. I don't fucking remember, man. What? <laughs> oh, my Is that ankle. from something? That's from yeah, something. This is right? a song. Oh. I think so. Is it One Piece? I have... From One Piece? Like the the anime? Yeah. No. Definitely not that. <laughs> Fucking anime, dude. It sucks. No, I like anime. Aminu? Animal. Are you going to get a body pillow when you go to Japan? No. Why would I do that? I don't know. Maybe you're into that shit. No. No, I was going to ask if you wanted anything. Uh... Just give me a little knickknack or doody hootie. I don't know. Doody hootie? I don't really care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy you a Godzilla. I'm not expecting anything really, but I mean, a little souvenir would be nice. Just something small. I'm gonna. We're we're gonna be our hotel bed and breakfast or, thingy, whatever is right next to the Godzilla. Oh. Building. Well, I was gonna say, or if you can find me something Metroid related, that would be cool. Okay. See what I can find. We're going to Akihabara, so they got. They probably got they a whole got bunch every of every fucking shit. thing. <laughs> they do. That they do. Those Japanese people in there. <laughs> they have in- Japanese people included. Yeah. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, Japanese people are allowed. And you get to keep it. <laughs> Just gotta make sure you water and feed it. Just there you go. You just spin them until that works. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I didn't even get fucking Jack for doing that. Head to the core. Is, 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 is this the ending? Is this the ending now? Maybe. Because you gave me a bad name. You... No, I think there's a little bit left. Wee, 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 wee. Shit. Shit, my fuck. But yeah, I Good, can, I can grab shit. you something. Yeah, give me a give me a little gooby. A little goober? Something, uh, little. yeah, if Metroid related would be a good start, because I think they, they like Metroid over there, don't they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> I'm sure I can, I'll get you a, a life-size uh, Samus uh, fucking suit. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> It's not little, but, you know. And then you can fucking wear it. Maybe that's your definition of little. Am, the, I, am I a little boy to you? The, Some people uh, are getting pretty good with that cosplay shit with that, actually. Yeah, they are. Well, you see, my my things are 
all skewed because I was going to get you the Gibraltar guys. I know, that's true. I'm still so, waiting like, on that one. Yeah, it's hard to find someone to steal and move a sign. And then try <laughs> a and... A sign that's taller than my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then try to hide it. Yeah. Like, nobody so far is willing to take up the task. <laughs> You've been making some calls. Yeah, I've been making some <laughs> calls, but you're everyone's on, not returning you're them. You're going to be a, like you have a, your own documentary about how you stole the fucking Gibraltar guy. You're going to just put him in a weed outfit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, and his one hand that he's like he's got his cane in one hand, and then his other one's put fucking blunt. <laughs> he's just in, like hippie clothes. Give him some fucking cornrows or some dreadlocks, rather. Oh, fucking Rastafari! Yeah. Like way to fucking ruin it, dude. <laughs> like he well, was fine I have the to way disguise he was. him. <laughs> you got the I can't just fucking bring it here yeah. and then they'll know immediately. <laughs> they'll be like, hmm, this is suspicious. It looks a lot like the Gibraltar guy, but it's not him. Yeah, he's covered in weed things. Someone must have built that one. We we gotta go find the Gibraltar guy. <laughs> Even though the Gibraltar trade center closed. Yeah, but it's being turned into the weed place. Is it? Yeah, that's why it's... Oh. Yeah, it's been turned into a, um... Don't I have leveled up? A proton drum? Alright, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, it's being turned into a, um... A fucking... Weed dispensary. Di- a weed distillery. <laughs> distillery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a weed distillery, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's gonna be a dispensary. Oh, uh, that's gonna be a big dispensary. <laughs> yeah. It's like a fucking giant warehouse, that place. Good lord, how many are there? A lot. I don't even know what's happening on screen. Like, I just see shit flying at me. You do. Little dog robots are coming at you. And they're fucking, like, you're just killing. I, oh! It's fucked up. Do I have any buzz blades? Here we go. But yeah, so it's gonna be a huge dispensary, and, like, we're just gonna, um, it's just not gonna have a sign. Because somebody took it, not me. You know, but like somebody. Some, <laughs> that would be really funny if they make it the dispensary and like it's actually, uh, like they actually do that to the sign. People would be so fucking angry at them. Yeah. Like irrationally so. so. <laughs> yeah. They'd be like, no, I have, I it's mean, part of our past. But I haven't been there in fucking ten years, but you shouldn't do that. <laughs> it's part of our fucking past, you can't do that. That's one of those things, right? Like fucking the thing that they don't even partake in like people are so pissed off that it's like closed or something or like they change it I I feel like that way that was the same thing with like uh, Southern Thumb music in town here like the dude who reopened it I don't even think had any affiliation with them at all and he reopened it because he's like oh it's a staple of Richmond and then he opened it up and it was open for like a year and then he just closed the storefront again like last month yeah like of course because you know it didn't Fucking, uh, it didn't fucking sell shit. Yeah, like, like nobody bought product there. No, the nostalgia is not gonna make people come back. I know. I I only set foot in there a couple times, and it was like, yeah, it was dismal in there. Like nobody, like he didn't sell fucking shit in there. <laughs> All right, well next time I change the chaps, we'll beat the game maybe. <laughs> <laughs>